up guys? It is me, Andy Skulls. Hope you guys are having an awesome but crazy ass day or night. Depends what country you're in. As you can tell by the title or the thumbnail, I am doing a review of the two games that are the same but different storylines, I guess. Which is this one and this one. But I won't get down to that until after the intro. I'll catch you guys then. said in the beginning I'm doing a review of the two games I am actually one of them currently playing but while before I was doing this which is a uh, this one and then uh, this one but it's the other way around I'm doing a review of these two because why not I don't want about movies why not do one about games I love games and who don't love games um yeah I mean this one's brand new out I forgot when it came out. The 22nd of May. I forgot when that was. And this one, I don't know when, because I don't remember. Um, I'm only doing this because I've played both of them. And to my opinion, there are some different ones and some... There's, there's a lot of different stuff inside the second one. But I like the second one the most and... In this video, you'll find out why, and I'll explain why. But if you, if any of you think differently, then comment below what you think of both the games, then I might give this one a second chance. Maybe. Anyway. State of Decay. The first one was, I'll admit, the first one was fun, fun when I got it. This is when... You're trying to build up your community and all that, and then somehow your, I don't know, suppliers come out of nowhere. Uh, the, the most part that probably pissed me off the most is a couple of nights ago, I was talking to my friend about this, and he even agreed as well. That in State of Decay 1, the first one, you cannot change the brightness or the grammar. All you saw was pitch black at night. And even the torches in the game were complete crap. You can't even change the brightness. You couldn't change the grammar to at least make the screen a little bit whiter. It was just complete dark. Um, but this one, which I am currently playing, is probably better because you get to not change the brightness but the grammar as well. And you get to actually not customize your people but customize the people you play as. I mean, you have a thousand of choices. I don't know how many choices, because I only chose three. Um, yeah, uh, you get more choice of what to do. There's more bigger bases where to go. And there are probably probably a lot of better weapons as well. I mean, there's a sniper, a shotgun, and whatever. Um, I think the most thing that is really annoying me at the moment with the State Decay 2 is I don't know if you guys have ever like, had this happen to you in State Decay or any other game but you know when you're on like for example boxes and there's nowhere else to go it just jumps and jumps and glitches out and it just pisses me off it's all in this game is when you're driving and the zombies on the front of your car, the only way to get it off sometimes is to crash it into like a barrier. And when I crash into a barrier, it gets stuck on the flipping barrier. So I'm stuck with no car, surrounded by zombies, and your stamina is really low. And if that's ever happened to you in like any kind of zombie game or state of decay, please comment below. Because I really hope I'm not alone with that. Or the one I found earlier, I crashed a car, which I didn't know, there was a tire underneath, and it was wedged into the ground. I had to get out my car because the car was wedged on the thing, and I couldn't move it. To my opinion, I think State of Decay should have like what Saint Row had. When you flip the car and it turns, I know it does turn over under the wheels when it's flipped over, 
on a flat ground for the car, but I think when it's, or a respawn button at least for the cars, kind of like what GTA had or Saint Row, but other than that, State of Decay 2 is probably a lot better than this, and I hated this game so much, I tried to get rid of it, but I couldn't. Because Kex wouldn't accept it because apparently of that. And apparently that's because that's American. I can't get rid of it in Kex, so I'm stuck with it. But that's alright. I get the bitch about it because of how much I hate it. But I don't I don't hate the game. It's, just, it's annoying because you can't see what the hell you're doing in pitch black. Um, yeah. Other than that, I kind of like it. I like zombie games. I like... It kind of reminds me of The Walking Dead, kind of. Except there's no Negan, there's no Rick. And there's no Daryl. Or Carl. But it reminds me of The Walking Dead, which I kind of like, because I'm in love with The Walking Dead. Um, but yeah. If you guys... Tell me what you think in the comments below of what one you like. Either number one or number two. And my honest opinion, this one's better. Buy this. This one. It might be like the phase two of it, but it's a lot better. I mean, everyone's found that out. Every game that goes on and on and on, the next one's always the better. Uh, I don't know what my next video would be, but I'm gonna let you guys go. Sorry it was a quick video but review, but I really wanted to do this because I I'm running out of ideas of what to do. Speaking about that, comment below of the um options or opinions of what you guys think I should do either on this channel, which is Andy Skulls, or my other one which is Crazy Boys. And speaking about that, I've decided that the Crazy Boys one is going to be my musically career kind of job thing. And this and Andy Skull's one is going to be like my personal life vlog reviews. And I can get the bitch about anything I want without m people next to me going, ning, ning. anyway. Comment below of what you think I should do next, and then I'll figure out how the hell to do that. And until next time, why is my screen gone dark? Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> and until next time, you crazy ass people, live life cra crazy. I love you all, my crazy family. And I am Andy Skulls, and Andy Skulls is out.